Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter from CarterMatt.com. This video is our Grey's Anatomy Season 16, Episode 14 preview and spoilers. We have a few different important things to talk about here. We're going to discuss the current state of things for Meredith and DeLuca because they have a big story moving forward and we didn't talk about them too much in the reaction tonight. So we'll give them a good bit of proper due here, but also... Where is Grey's Anatomy going with this Alex story? Because I think it's becoming clear that they can't really avoid it that much longer. Nope. And there's also something for Levi and Nico coming up. We're not going to be talking about the Station 19 stuff all that much. And I know, Grey's Anatomy, you really want us talking about Station 19. I, you're putting it even in all the promos. and. Yeah, even the promo tonight was Station 19 and Station 19. Look at all the Station 19 people. Yeah. Oh, and then we're bringing a patient over to Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Tune in. I was just like, where's all the Grey's Anatomy stuff? <laughs> yeah, I watch Station 19 and I'm not, I, I, I don't dislike the show. It's just, can we have them be a little bit more separate so that each one gets their moment in the sun? And for people like me, I do not watch Station 19. It's not because I don't like the show. I have other stuff that I'm working on for yeah. work. But because I don't watch Station 19, it makes it difficult that every episode feels like it's a crossover. Yeah, and it's really not. But they're promoting it like that anyway. It's like we had one tonight, but, you know, it's just, it really didn't matter if you saw Station 19 or not. But uh, anyway, before we talk about everything in this preview, if you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. But also hit that notification bell. We have Grey's Anatomy stuff coming after every episode. That way you don't miss any of them. Let us start with the Merluka of it all, because, yeah, we didn't talk about them too much in the reaction, but they are, I don't know if we can call them back together, but they are definitely moving in that direction. I mean, they are romantically intertwined at the very least. Yeah, we saw them back in bed together, yeah. so there's at least that. They're physical with each other again, but they did mention that they haven't talk things through yet of what's going on why this happened what's the solution yeah any type of yeah there's no real solution yet and it doesn't really feel like there's one that's coming in the immediate future either it just feels like there's going to be even more conflict because this all kind of brings us back to the patient suzanne mm -hmm. sarah rafferty's character where at the end of tonight's episode they decided, in part thanks to the help of Dr. Riley, who just showed up, that um, they were going to take her off her medication. And that means, moving forward, maybe they're going to be able to diagnose something better. But in this upcoming episode, it seems like Meredith is going to take over this patient. And DeLuke is probably not going to be that happy about it. Yeah, and I mean, in a lot of ways, I can understand why he wouldn't be. He is still trying to really prove himself. This is someone that he's now very invested in. He's been doing so much to try to find out what's going on with Suzanne and, and what's you know what to do about it. But because they also have this situation where DeLuca's been feeling a little like intimidated or mm -hmm. not inferior to Meredith... And that storyline's been going on. Meredith, I'm sure, is not coming in and being like, listen, I'm taking over this show now because you're incompetent. Yeah. It may still feel that way just in his mind because they haven't spoken about this yet. Yeah, they, they haven't spoken about this yet. And I, I think DeLuca, because of where he is as a young doctor, he's probably very, very eager to just have a win and just feel like he's really accomplishing something and if he's not able to do that because Meredith has taken over, then it's suddenly, okay, Meredith need I mean, DeLuca needs Meredith to bail him out of a lot of these situations he's having a hard time with. And especially with this patient, yeah. because this has been something where it's like all hands on deck. Yeah. We really can't figure it out. If DeLuca has this as a win without Meredith, this might be the thing that can help him start to feel a little bit more validated, to feel a little more confident in himself and therefore in his relationship. Yeah, I think that would be very, very useful for him. But unfortunately, we don't know if that's going to happen now. But Meredith, I think, has the best of intentions. Yeah, I agree. The other story, and this isn't even mentioned in the synopsis or the mm -hmm. promo, but I, we, we have to talk about the Alex of it all now. Because Joe is clearly struggling with him being gone for so long and yep. being effectively ghosted, which, as we said in the reaction just feels so out of character for Alex Karev to do this. It 
it is super weird. Like, I I get what's going on, that he's not on the show anymore, but this particular storyline just isn't making any sense. So he's told her that he's going through some stuff and he needs some time. It's first off just weird to me that he's not telling her what it is. Yeah. So that she even just has an idea of it's like, okay, he's going through this thing. And that would maybe take a couple of days for him to get through. Or he's going through something really serious. And maybe I need to give him a week or two weeks or whatever. And he'll call me when he's ready. Like, yeah. it's a very general, I'm going through it. See you later. I'll call you when I call you. Yeah. And then is ghosting her. I'm starting to feel that we're getting into a situation where she's going to have to start calling other people. Because he was originally supposed to be going to see his mom, and I yeah. know she's not in great shape, but even if she was in great shape, I'd be picking up the phone and calling, even yeah. just for the hope of maybe she'd be able to tell me anything, anything. I'd be calling everybody at this point. Yeah. Because I, their relationship isn't like this. Yeah, I, I think with Joe, she is someone who was willing to take the risk of finding her birth mother and learning the truth about what happened to her, as devastating as it was, that I think Joe is going to turn over every possible stone here to get answers, you know, and including, even if Alex's mom is in a bad way, I mean, she could still put to make that phone call. She could travel. Yep. She could try to get some answers there. Yep. The, the, the worst case scenario in my head, and I, I don't want to think about this because it's really sad, but if something has already happened to Alex then obviously he wouldn't be able to answer any messages that she sends. And it could be a tragic accident. It could be something that's kind of horrific. Maybe it happened to his mother as well. And maybe that's kind of complicating the situation further. We're just, we're just at such a loss for answers. I'm going to make a prediction, though. I think within the next two episodes, I think we're going to figure it out. I think we're going to find out where Alex is and what's happened. I... I'm just not sure. Like, if he is dead or something like that is happening, which is the only thing that I can think of, yeah. then yes, I think it's going to come up in the next few episodes because if he has died and it's in some sort of tragic way or even not, someone would have notified her if the body was found. Yeah, I think it's that's just, true. It's just the way that it's going to be. They're not going to not call his wife. That's the next of kin. It is the first person. But that call hasn't come in yet, yeah. so it makes me wonder then, is it a situation where he's died and no one has found him yet? Or are they really going down this kind of crappy storyline where he's just going to ghost her and then be like, see you later, out of the blue, after they've just renewed their <laughs> vows like yeah. earlier this season? It's weird. The only thing I can sort the the way that I'm looking at this is I could see Grey's Anatomy killing off Alex if they believed that there was no chance that Justin Chambers would ever come back. Because I think it is so far out of Alex's character to permanently ghost Joe. I don't think they would want to do that. But if they have a hope that someday Justin may come back or anything of that variation maybe you find a way to keep alex alive even if it's at the expense of just frustrating all of us collectively right now in some really big extreme way which we are all very frustrated they better have a really good yeah. reason that he would not be there because after everything they've gone through and renewing their vows yeah. and the way that the last episode we had with them together None of this makes any sense. It's no. so weird. It is really, really weird. But I, that's sort of at least where I think we can look at this. Maybe we'll learn in a couple episodes. Maybe it'll be beyond that. I'm sure the writers were obviously pretty far ahead at the time that whenever Justin's exit happened, that they couldn't really just scrap all these episodes. Yeah. So I think they've had to take their time in figuring out what to do with the situation. The yeah. Only other thing I think we can say about episode 14 is that you're going to have a story with Levi and Nico where yep. Nico is going to be kind of hesitant for Levi to meet his parents, which is kind of surprising given everything that happened with Levi's own family not that long ago on the show. Yeah, and that Levi in the last episode was opening up a little more to something even a little more serious, so... I just, yeah, I wonder what it is. I wonder if there's something that Nico is 
embarrassed about or doesn't want him to know about or just I don't know what it is. It's going to be very interesting to see what it is, why it is. Because I don't think it's that he's embarrassed of Levi at no. all. Like, it's just, that's not the story. Let Schmidt be happy. Is that too much to ask? He's been through enough. I think that's that's the message of Grey's Anatomy. They've all been through enough. They have, but really, Levi, yes. Le- yeah, especially. But we'll see kind of what unfolds next week on Grey's Anatomy. But let's hear from you guys. Where do you think Meredith and DeLuca are going to go? How do you think they're going to handle the Alex situation? Share in the comments below. And if you do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the Carter Matt store. And we'll see you here next time.